If you carry a firearm, and especially if you open carry, you have to have the firearm retention skills to keep your gun from being taken. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of New York City. Shows us a New York City officer involved shooting where we're going to see an officer lose his firearm to an angry perpetrator. We're going to learn some important lessons here about firearm security, about partner tactics, and about how chaotic and dangerous a real gunfight can be. Officers have been called to this bodega here because this guy is creating problems inside this store. And so there's two NYPD officers here and they get this guy up because people have been holding him down. Uh, waiting for the cops to come and as they try to take him out of there the guy actually grabs right here you're gonna see him grab the gun out of the officers retention holster and get a hold of it there and the officer completely loses his gun now his partner is gonna come in put a couple of shots on target on this guy the guy ends up in uh, stable condition but serious condition at the hospital that one officer goes off this way and uh, the other officer we're gonna see here he's gonna dip down to now our the bottom left as this happens we see the other angle guys gonna fall in the doorway there it's gonna actually get off 15 shots from the officer's gun. Let's go back and learn some lessons on this one. First of all, as everything goes down, it's a little chaotic. There's a lot of actors around here, so there's a lot of distractions, and you got to know where your threats come from, but in this kind of environment, that's very, very difficult. Second, we see this guy here start looking. You can kind of notice him that he is looking at this officer's gun, and both officers are looking away from their perp. They're looking away from where their threat is. you got to know where your threats are, and you got to stay with it. And what we're going to see here is now he goes for the gun, but do you notice that the officer has something in his right hand here? You know, if you're open carrying a firearm, you've got to keep that hand free to be able to defend your firearm. You know, when you're concealed carrying, it's not as big an issue, but when you're open carrying, you've got to be able to defend your firearm. That means dominant hand free. Now, do you notice here that the officer is trying to get his gun back, but the guy's turned his back to him, and so he definitely has a dominant position. It's going to be very, very difficult to take his gun away from him there. And so now what we're going to see is his partner's going to get his gun out of his holster and into the fight, but he doesn't have a great line of attack here. He, he has a lot of problems with his partner in the line of, uh, of his fire. He has bystanders in the line of fire. The door is right behind him. Very difficult backstop with which to take a shot. So the officer gains a little distance because the guy ends up getting the gun, and he's trying to get himself to safety as well dives away from that and as we're going to see from the other side here the officer that is grappling for the gun realizes at some point that he doesn't have control well you got to control this guy and that's why we talk about grapple fighting that's why we talk about clinch fighting that's why we talk about knowing how to take somebody to the ground and those things all take training and time when he gets away from this guy now his partner has the ability to put some shots on target he had to wait for that point so he had some ability to do so a lot of problems here with this one if you're going to open carry a firearm you got to know those skills so that you can cover your asp 